Telling jokes and having smokes Riding bikes all through the night It's a wild ride When you're being in Coffee ice no matter what Now you know he likes it in the butt It's a wild ride When you're being in Being in And life is shit but you're positive Let's find out what it's like to live a life being Ian, being Ian with Jordan. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Oh, hey, we got the vinyl for the. Ho, ho, ho! Nice. Yep. Why are your pants right? Those your pants? Those aren't my pants. Oh. There's. It's a Christmas episode here on Being Ian with Jordan. This is Santa Claus, and I'm Mrs. Claus. What's this big tuna can? Oh, that's cologne I got a duty-free. Uh, since it is Christmas, uh, I got myself a Christmas gift. Um, is it me? It's you, and I'd like to unwrap you. Your mother's here. I've been wanting to do this in front of her for a while. Uh, Mom, I got you myself- could probably sit there while we record. You know what I mean, right? It's not going to show her. Oh, yeah. the smoking, yeah. 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 Well, speaking of which, I got myself... If you want to hear my mom, you have to subscribe to the Patreon because this is a regular episode, but she'll be on the Patreon later, and yep. it's going to be a good one. Yep, yep. Her and Jordy were upstairs talking about sentient beings and AI, and, and I can't... And, like, the Reagan administration? Yeah, I can't and wait to... And my sister's infidelity with her husband? watch. Um, I, uh, I got myself nine cartons of cigarettes of duty-free. <laughs> duty-free... It would be cheaper to buy a ticket to Mexico oh, wow. and get a oh, wow. ton of stuff at duty free and come back. Yeah. You're just you know holding, how much it's you know so how much awful. Hello? Yes. It's Jordan. Yes. You're yes, going to die. Uh huh. Okay. I'll put you Your through to someone love you. who gives a shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much do you think a carton of cigarettes in the city costs? <laughs> huh? They cost, I know, Marble Reds cost 12 bucks. No, sixteen. What for a carton? It's like one seventy. I get a guy. A I get cartons for ninety. These were like eighty. Three cartons for eighty bucks. Are you kidding me? I'm sitting on. Okay, okay. If we're talking about eighteen hundred cigarettes right now for fucking a couple if pesos. If we're talking about being Jewish and getting free things, my I went to Nashville. Yes. And I was like, Hey, Megan, because she always has too many clothes. I said, Let me look through your clothes. And she said, Okay, but not not these. So of course I went for those. Uh -huh. Put these pants on. Work pants like Kevlar, Imogen and Willie, three hundred dollar pants. I said, these fit me perfect. She said, okay, take them, bitch. Really? Yeah, I've been wearing wow. them for a week. Well, now you can wear those with your very own Christmas gift <gasps> I got you. Oh, oh my Merry God. Merry Christmas. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mine never came. Mine never came. It's a, it's a mom. It's a Matrix shirt. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. This is the best present ever. Yeah. Oh, you guys. Yeah. She's been talking about wanting a Matrix shirt for a while. It's the best movie of all time. Yeah. If, if if these are my favorite movies, this one's not even on. I'm not even going to say it. It's just on a tier. Higher. It's on a higher tier. Oh, God. Yep. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, put it on, Santa. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Ruin the, the Santa outfit. Pull that sleeve out. Yep, pulling yeah. the sleeve out. Hold on. You got a humpback. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, yep, oh, oh. there it is. Ho, ho, ho. Merry, okay. Merry. Okay. Well, yep. I What'd also, you get me? Well, it's your birthday coming up. Uh-huh. And New Year's. Yes. So I got you something. It's a very elaborate thing. <laughs> that you didn't get. No, You're I just didn't. making but it up. Not here yet. No, I didn't what is it? Up. What is it? You? Really? You got me something? Yes, it's a surprise. Nah. It is. It's a really? Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's so nice. My best friend, you. You're my best friend, and I love you. Okay. Eee. So. Wow. That's what friendship looks like. Yep. Yep. Just two mentally ill people dressed up as fake characters. Dude, I am mentally ill. <laughs> Are you? I really am. You know not I'm PMSing and I lost my mind last night. But here's the problem. Can I, I know, tell you what the problem Can is? I tell you I know you so well? You go, this and this and this happened. I said, well, you're probably close to your period. You go, I'm four days out. <laughs> I am four I days it. out. I know it. I can tell. 
<laughs> I can tell. I have four days. I know. Okay. I know. So what happened? Here's the problem. I get off stage nightmare. I think everybody's against me. I hate everybody. I'm like that's a sinister person. I get on stage crush. But the second I get off, that crazy doesn't translate to real life. Uh huh. So I just have to shelter up in my hole. You got also. It. Here's another thing I did while I was gone. I my told Tinder my friend profile. Nelly. <laughs> I told my friend, my friend who she got me tooed, so she lost her job, and I paid her to clean my room. Here's what she did: she reorganized the whole room. Mm -hmm. Didn't clean. Yeah, of course, of course, she did this. I was like, I need the dust removed. <laughs> You're in a beard. This bitch. <laughs> this bitch. Uh -huh, reorganized the whole thing. Uh huh. It's dust. You don't room. say. Yeah. <laughs> no. I was like, well, the reorganized thing is the fun part. I already did that. I like my things where they are. So she dusted. No. But she didn't organize. She organized, she organized but she didn't dust. Yes, but I don't need organized. Who organizes, but they don't dust. I needed the dust. All, I, I all, need the dust. I had to spend all day yesterday putting my band tees back in the stack. You all know day what I mean? All the day. All day. This bitch, she does, but she doesn't dust. This Santa suit makes me want to get a blowjob. Well... <laughs> You come to the right place because Christmas is coming early. Why? Honk. <laughs> Why is that? Mrs. Santa Claus is not the only thing I make is cookies for Santa. Okay, what else happened? Cummies. You went to a wedding. Did you fuck I a man? I went to a wedding. Did I fuck a you man? You look great. Thank you. You look really Thank good. You, you yeah. look good too. What? You great. No, you said I have a black eye. I did, yeah. Look how but tired. you look better. Now. I've been having a lot of <laughs> once sex. you caked on the makeup, you look great. I've been having a lot of sex. Ooh -wee! How is it? It's good, but I'm on Prozac now, so I can't come. I know. I mentioned that in my set. I say you call it Prozac pussy. It's Prozac pussy. I know. Numb to the world. Yep, yep. And I say but I take do... antidepressants, and if I don't take them, I want to kill myself, but I can come. But if I do take them, I can't come, which makes me want to kill myself. Mm -hmm. It's called Zoloft's Paradox. Now, you can see me do those jokes and more. Uh, and Jordan I say, and I, say I was on, on Prozac for OCD, but I couldn't come. So now I'm off Prozac, but now I can come. But I have to do it in multiples of three or my mom will die. That's good. That's a good joke. That's good. Yeah. Okay. The other thing I was at. Wouldn't a, it be I funny was, if your mom all of a sudden like woke up in hospice <laughs> and then like they took her off hospice because you finally came again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be hilarious. That would be so funny. Woo! Funny, funny, <laughs> my nightmare. <laughs> Jokes are good when they are my life. <laughs> Hold on, my bonnet got in the way. What? <laughs> I was at, I was at, I was getting coffee earlier uh -huh. with somebody, and the, we were. It was a Russian place, and they were like, the Russian lady. I was like, I think this is a Russian place, and he had ordered a sandwich, and he was like, well, they ain't Russian on my. And he paused, and he was like, sorry, that's stupid, and I was like. You think that's stupid? Buddy, that's incredible. I was like, that's art on our yeah, podcast. That's like a, that's like we would do a lap. Oh, yeah. You know We'd I mean? blow the horn. He like bailed on it. I was like, were you about to say they're not Russian on your sandwich? And he oh. was like, yeah, it's stupid. And I was like, Dude, stupid. I'd have fucking jump down Ethan's throat to clip yeah, that yeah, fucker yeah. up. <laughs> and be like, hey, Elf, get in the workshop, bitch. This one's going viral. Are you kidding me? <laughs> He's, I couldn't believe it. He stopped himself. And I was like. <laughs> oh, by the way, we have to, by the end of the episode, get our little elves on camera because oh my God, our crew is so dressed adorable. as elves. Yeah. yeah. How do we do that? Well, come on out. Yeah, come guys. on in. Come on they in for a second. Headphones. Yep. Come this, on in. This is bad. This is producer Ethan. Hello. Sit on yes. Mrs. Claus's lap. Yes. There we go. He's oh, he's so our, little. our little workshop. <laughs> this is producer Jordy, young Ethan. This is behind the scenes. And the Christmas gift to you all they is that you get to see run. them. Yes, so yep. that we can show up, have meltdowns about people we're dating, and uh -huh. then come down here and literally watch a clip from Love Actually while Jordan puts on makeup in my mirror, and I start to sob and go, "Should I do this?" Oh my tonight? god, <laughs> you have to tell them about the Love on a Spectrum thing. Okay, this is amazing. Okay, so. Uh, I got uh, a cameo is something where you request a famous person to yes. basically send a video being like, happy birthday, dear. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, Mark, I heard it's your birthday. You yeah. got a real good wife that loves you. And Boom. it's like The Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I do cameos. That's, <laughs> you believe it? He's on there. Well, if I signed up for it. You could be on there. People get cameos from you. Yeah. They'd be like, Santa. How much they pay? You, <laughs> you can make your own price. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan. 
I heard you got an into Santa. <laughs> okay, Santa. tell this Christmas story. Okay, so my um, if you blow that in my ear, I Does will it go off punch loud? that oh. fucking hat off your face. <laughs> How anyway. is his hat on so cute? He's immediately a Brooklynite. I know. I know. Look I know. at that. You could do do a Peter Pan. My mother used to tell me that I was an elf. What? Yeah. They used to trick. They would say every year, like. You know, you gotta be good because Santa's gonna come pick you up, but then he would never pick me up. And so I was like really confused. I thought I was a bad kid. Oh. Yeah, they lie. My mom was yeah. talking about this, how she's against the lying to children about Santa Claus. She always, she never liked it. Yeah, I believe. I found Santa out one long. year because it was written in dad's handwriting, Santa. Santa. Yeah, I got I got in an argument in fifth grade and said, of course Santa's is real. Why do you think there are time zones so we can get around the world in 24 hours? Okay, that's adorable. That's a good that's, argument. That's, that's, that's a good that argument. That is the cutest thing I've ever heard in my yeah. life. Because yeah. why are there time zones? Thank you, Michael Crowley and his family for yeah, giving me fuck shit. you, Crowley. While we watched Austin Powers. Little bug eyed bitch. You. Would you tell your kids there was Santa? Yes, because that's how you trick them. From the start? You thought you were an elf. If you were one mythological How character. How the fuck did your parents, they said, you're a little elf boy. And you were like. Yeah. Well, because I had like little pointy ears like, like uh, as a kid. Your and nose then, is kind of elfy. Yeah. I mean, and I'm short. So yeah. That, I mean, like, it, it just all made sense. It just, yeah. Yeah, so I believed it. They said, you're, but Santa will come and get you yeah. because you're an elf. Yeah. But did you want to leave your home? That would scare the shit out of me. Well, it's exciting to be like, oh, I'm going to go to the North Pole. Oh, they'll drop you back off. It wasn't yeah. like my sister being like, a yeah. different family's going to get you and take you away, <laughs> yeah. finally. Yeah, but you were never taken, so every year you were a failure. Yeah, that's what I felt like. See, I, I would be that parent. I would be that parent. What? I, first of all, I would only speak around them in a British accent for like the first five years so that they would do that. They would just have a British accent. I would do that, but Jamaican. <laughs> yes, yes. Dude, I would let hey, one, one. Hey. I would do social experiments. I'd be like, let's see what happens if you only eat cashews for a full week let's look, show me your poop just just out of curiosity like i would create them they would be a little lab rat you know what i mean i would be like you're i'm, I'm gonna tie your one hand behind your back you're gonna get good with your left hand okay that would be great you know italians did that when their kids use their left hand they'd smack them so they'd be right-handed because being left-handed was a sign of the devil and it happened to a friend family friend of mine it was a twin and the one twin ended up becoming like a great doctor and all this stuff and which the one? other one became a blacksmith and he died early which one the free to free to be left-handed one the left-handed smacker is, the one that was forced to be right-handed is a bad but he he didn't end well I tried to give a hand job on my left hand recently. It, really a retard. I mean, unbelievable. I like it. I might as well have been smacking it, punching it. Right yeah, in the but face. then the guy can take your hand and make him go like, here, That's what I let said. me show you, little elf. Take it out. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, get out of here. Get out of here. You're hurting my leg. Get out of here. They're the they're the ones that make the, the magic okay. happen here. So well, what happened? On Jordan the wears one boot. <laughs> And the other, there's nothing. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh my god! Woo! It's, just hot. it's so, so hot. hot. It's like seven layers. On. It's so hot. Okay, tell me what happened with the cameo. Oh, Matrix shirt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing bloomers underneath <laughs> my outfit. <laughs> Mrs. Claus has a little gift for the little boys and girls. <laughs> it's a it's a centuries old coochie. <laughs> it's got a little Christmas frost on it. <laughs> Maybe you could warm it up with some milk and cookies and chocolate. Tell tell what? Oh. So my my This is I, gold to me. This yeah. is unbelievable. So, this is why it's worth staying alive. So one me and <laughs> me and my me and my ex, her and I really bonded over Love on the Spectrum. And we had like favorite characters. And her and I started like connecting recently and just checking in, being pals, being pals, being friends. Feels good, you know. So praying it will be more than friendship. Will it be a Christmas miracle? We come back home. When you wish upon a you know star, what it's like? you wish that you didn't move in so fast and that you turned into roommates instead of lovers. And then you get the second chance in the new year because you're older and wiser. Hypothetical jokes are the funniest. <laughs> it's like this song. You know this song. Don't play it. Jordan. 
Jordan, 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 <laughs> Jordan, Jordan. We're going to get demonetized. Okay, well, it's like the Just like song. when you showed a wiener in the last episode. We had to Did it show the wiener? Th- it showed the wiener. Who cares? His wiener's all over the place. Yeah, but YouTube cares because we're under a totalitarian state. No, Santa, no. Santa. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. <laughs> For years, I've been a homemaker while you go out every night. You're in every different house, different time zones, different countries. I know that you're slaying that cock around. Oh, you're the wife. (laughs) (laughs) I'm the most famous man in the world. I am crushing puss. I am sneaking into teenagers' houses and smashing. And that's why I'm bringing it up. You want your little AirPods, baby girl? I'm at home and I got this eunuch elf. You All he do does shit. is try to lick my pussy like it's a crumb you cake. You don't do shit all day. Wait, maybe you what can build you a do? cock in the workshop, elf. I'm sitting here. I'm hungry. I'm lonely. I'm tired. My man's out every single night working the sleigh. It's one night. And it's one night. I know you fucking prancer. I know you fucking prancer. <laughs> I see this little prancer cock. <laughs> You fucking Branzi, you fucking Dancy, you fucking Donnie, you fucking Blitzen. The only one that's not getting fucked is Mrs. Claus. And you knew I wanted children and I didn't have any because they get confused with the elves. So many elves. I gave you endless elves. Elves, elves, not blood children. Elves. I'm not happy, Santa. (laughs) It's not good. (laughs) <laughs> Every year I come up to you I go, hey, guess who's on the naughty list And because you're an autistic old woodshop builder You take it seriously Not the fact that I'm throwing my snows at you Like you wouldn't believe Every year, what, you think I'm really misbehaved? No, I want you to spank me I want you to take advantage of me Why do you think I wear this little Miss Muffet top So you can rip it off and eat my Mrs. Claus pussy <laughs> <laughs> Every year, guess who's been naughty? And instead of you licking my box, you give me coal. I don't want it. You know how tight my pussy is? Put the coal in there, a dime will come out. For once, would it be a Christmas miracle for Mrs. Claus to get rammed down? Huh? Here's a miracle on 34th Street. I'm going to go down there and shake my ass so I can get a little cock once in a while. (laughs) (laughs) And another thing. If that twink elf Ethan makes eye contact with me one more time, there will be hell to pay. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know his parents lied to him and said he was an elf, but guess what, Toots? You're not a real elf. You're a human boy. Grow up. I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, I'll fuck you right now, you little dusty bitch. Oh, thank God. I'll fuck you right now. See, see, ladies. See, ladies. You, okay, you, you got to advocate for yourselves. <laughs> Uh, oh my god miracle on 34 that really proud of you for that one uh, uh. <laughs> Stop. Stop. sorry 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 mrs mrs claus is clearing out her out of lungs make room for oh your cock oh my god can you get me a tapo chico please <laughs> You never say Double Chico like that ever again. That is exclusively Mrs. Santa. Give me a Double Chico. Mrs. Santa. What's her name? I'm too hot. Mrs. Claus. I'm too hot. Oh, Oh, fuck. That's good. I miss you. Uh, uh, What a nice Christmas. The boys came down early and... Decorated the studio. <sighs> Isn't this nice? It's so nice. Yeah, well, now every episode this week is a Christmas episode because it's too much yeah, work for just one. Oh, wow. The wrapping paper and everything. The boxes. 
Where did you guys get all this stuff? Isn't that nice? My house. Yeah. You just had it? We're elves. Yeah. We made them. Yeah, there you go. That's a better answer. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Did you see the Justin Bieber stocking? Snuggy? Stocking. Oh, stocking? It's really good. Isn't that nice? It's really, really good. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Mm -hmm. I just thought of the fact that we should have put cigarettes in the menorah. I thought of it while I was sitting here just oh, now. Oh, fuck. That's such a good idea. <laughs> Well, hey, man, it's never too late. Why do I this. think of a tell as Dave? Or, I mean, as Santa Claus? Uh, I don't know. Does he dress up as Santa Claus, or was it just that voice you were doing? <laughs> was that a tell voice? No. He has that gruff voice. No, I think of him as Santa Claus. He, we should get him I to dress up as Santa if Claus. He wanted to come and he said, Dude, no. you guys taking those pictures together, and you are like, it's like a two seater, and you're sitting in one seat, and he oh, just yeah. refuses to sit down is so good. Oh, dude, I'll tell you this. He and I went on another Christmas photo shoot. We went to Rockefeller Center and got pictures at the tree, got pictures together with uh, guys dressed up like the Nutcracker. It was amazing. We really had fun. Hey, what the hell's happening over there? Are you leaving? I had a really good time with Louie on this tour. It was way... We dropped, took a private jet. I took a private jet. Oh! A private jet. Isn't that crazy? Fast and a little bit loud. Really? Catering. Giant Catering. seats. Oh my God, yes. that's amazing. Huh? How many people does it hold? Two, four, six, eight. How many were on the really? road with you? Just you two? It was me, Louie, hit, hit the tour manager, Mary, and mm -hmm. the pilot. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. It was so awesome. That's fucking great. That's a dream. Um, from. What are you? I'm hot. I know you are, bro. I'm too hot. <laughs> I'm wearing a thermal. <laughs> okay. We took a jet and we went all over. The jet is really fun because you can. Oh, Jordan's in her bra. Damn, Christmas came early. Mm. Look at them mamma jammas. God damn. Mm. I want to take a private jet, take off from JFK, and land it in your pussy. Okay. I've been doing this fun thing where I joke around about how. Uh, I use my dick as like an airplane. Like, you know, when you feed a kid, you're like, here comes the airplane. I go, hey, honey, here comes the airplane. Connect and flight your ass. Wow. <laughs> I go, 9 11. <laughs> I knock someone's drink over. <laughs> With your dick? Yeah. Nice. You know, that's the kind of stuff yeah, you that'll get me on a some. private plane, huh? <laughs> the private plane, The my only beef was it, the, actually, it was kind of nice that it was loud, so we couldn't talk the whole time. Also, I will take trains forever for the rest of my yes. life. They were the best. The an best. omelet? They served an omelet on the train? What? Yes. In first class. On a train? On a train back to New York, From where? first class. From where? Boston. Amtrak. Dude, Boston Amtrak? sucks. You did Amtrak? The Sella. The Sella. Wow. Boston, We did our, the first show we did, somebody literally halfway through the show, somebody's like, lights, lights, like it's a hardcore show. Bring the lights up. Massive theater. Dude's like, somebody's passing out, like a hardcore show, Jesus. and Louis just has to stop and be like, all right. It was so gay. Oh. But the rest of the shows were amazing. Second, That's great. Yeah. When was the last time I saw you? Dude, years. I know. What happened in Cabo? Oh, Cabo was great. Wait, we have to order of operations. What, the Louis stuff was great. Stayed in Four Seasons Hotels, giant. Wow. Ordered room service constantly. Yes. yes. Oh, chicken. The bat chicken. They had a room. You know how we're off sugar? They had a room called The Vault uh -huh. that had just candy on tap. Do you understand what, what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, yes. dude, you and I have been killing it with the no sugar. Yes. I'm about to shit my pants because I've eaten prunes to deal with it because I need sugar. Okay. But... We're all having a good time. Yeah. I <laughs> had sugar because it was the wedding and there was like wedding I, cake. He texts me and he goes, is it cool if I have a little wedding and a cake? And I was like, and I was like, yeah, that's fine. Like, do I feel like wedding. it's an, an exceptional exception. You can do it. And then, <laughs> and then I was like, just don't do the thing where you like, oh, ah, 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 and you go crazy after. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, oops, is the next sex I get. And he's like, I was literally going around with forks to everybody's table eating off their plate. Yeah. Yeah. Which I totally get. That's why I didn't I let just myself had do a little. a little bit of dessert, and then I noticed it was like tapas, and people didn't eat their dessert, so I went over with my spoon, and I was like, well, it's going to go bad, and I was just Dude, eating that's the problem. food off of people's tables. Literally a, a mercenary of dessert eating. Just, but that's why I don't want to start doing it again, because that feeling is so bad, where you're oh, just yeah. like, 
And then the next night with the wedding cake, I had one, and then I drizzled caramel all over it. And then I fucking. Did you feel what's bad? wrong? Is everything all right? Did you feel bad? Huh. Yes, I felt bad. Really, really? Did you yes. feel like hungover the next day or yes. later than that? Really? I saw Shane Torres last night and he was like, I just ate seven steaks. I feel bad. And I, I was like, I don't think I heard you right because that's like insane. Yeah. And he was like, it's. Uh, and and then he like kept talking. I he was like, I really bad. need to go home. And I was like, yeah, you. I just had seven steaks. I know, I know. <laughs> wow, that's so good. And I felt bad. Bad. Here's the thing Wait, about eating to, a woman's pussy. You know what is true? Nobody, people can't imitate you. Like Me? Mullen, he can't do it. Really? No. Oh, Anybody nice. else? I've cornered the market on myself. I think no you just have a transient, you know, person. Yes. Your shift. Word, trans. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Do you think this is a good uh, trans premise? What? what if it becomes like the next American dream? Like in the future, like how now we're like, we're like, my daddy was a, you know, immigrant and now he owns, he's an immigrant farmer. Now he owns Monsanto. And then like in the future, it'll be like, my, my daddy was a, you know, mom factory worker. And now he's got tits. Does that, they giggled. They giggled. They giggled. All right. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Idiots. But Look do you know them. what I mean by American like dream? Elves. Like, because it's always the people who are not trans people, but trans allies who are like, you're so privileged. And I'm like, what's more privileged than creating a vagina? You know what I mean? That's elite level shit. Mm -hmm. Like you, uh, trans allies on yes. the internet are like, don't be privileged. Just that don't be privileged. Yes. And I'm like, it is the highest privilege to be able to create a body oh. part. It's like mm -hmm. getting, you know, mm -hmm. Plastic surgery is yes. a, a very extravagant at this point. Yeah. So what I'm saying is what if that becomes like the next standard of like American dream dream is like I switched whole sexes mm -hmm. and now I own a, a full Bitcoin. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, that fucking guy that what's that mom? What's that guy's name who went bankrupt? Not bankrupt, but the guy who was the Bitcoin person. The, the the crypto Sam, Sam what oh Bang. oh dude the, the mousy looking chick his wife yeah the six no no the chick Caroline yeah this polyamorous uh, uh. mom he, the uh. sixty minutes with him did you watch the sixty minutes no he's he's like a blinking out here he's just like autistic as fuck. What if you was Morse coding like help this guy is a guy who started this company based on the you know mom go that ahead. The Bitcoin, his, his FTT coin, yeah. His FTT coin. It was a complete and absolute grift. Yes, it was a grift. Intended from the beginning. It's mm -hmm. a bigger Ponzi scheme than Madoff. Mm -hmm. because, because people were donating money and he was just getting richer and richer. They no, not donated. donated. They were giving him money to buy his coin. Didn't he do what the stock market does where you give money and then they take it and invest it in other things? He just failed at it? He right. didn't invest it. He spent it. Well, he put it into his um, trading company, Alameda Research, which is a fucked up name. And then he went and took fiat money, which is regular cash money from mm -hmm. the people that were buying the shitty coin mm -hmm. and used it to his own purposes. Not the least of which a penthouse thing in the Bahamas where he kept all his polyamorous people mm. and one of them being Caroline and bought his parents a multi-million dollar mansion. I don't See, know. Here's the thing. All these polyamory people, it's never anyone you'd want to be polyamorous. with. <laughs> it's um, never some dude, hot. Totally. It's always some chick with a mouse face that like has a receding hairline or they're like a witch in Bushwick. They're the polyamory people. It's never like, oh, hey, I'm actually hot. Dude, you know what's funny? You know how we talk about the bisexual? Uh, the, the other day in an audience in Tacoma, two women were sitting together and one of them, I was like, are there any polyamorous retards here? You know? <laughs> and one girl was like, I'm polyamorous. And this other girl was like, are you too? And she goes, well, I'm actually bi. No, 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 sorry. Not polyamorous. She's pansexual. And the other girl was bisexual. And I was like, you know what's crazy is the bisexual girl, any room you walk into, you're the most woke or you're the most open. Mm -hmm. But because you're with a pansexual, you're basically a bigot because the pansexual will fuck anybody. But you're saying I will fuck anybody. I will only fuck men or women. You know what I mean? No. Her friend, pansexuals can fuck anybody. Trans yeah, people. Anyone can fuck anyone they want. 
Bisexuals are the original pansexuals. Yes, yes. Pansexual came out to have bi erasure. Right. Because there had to be another thing. The whole thing That's with pansexuals yes. is they're like, yes. I'm not attracted to yes. gender. I'm attracted yes. to personality. Yes. No, you're yes. not. No, you're not. Guess what? Because you're if you were, you weren't you're not on a dating app with all blank screens and and profile bios. You fucking liar. You want yourself to be special. Bisexuals will fuck anyone. And just because we're not, well, I'll fuck XYZ, but that 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 it's not good enough for you. You're a piece of shit. It's bi erasure. Grow the fuck up. And you're doing it for a personality. I fucking hate you. And fucking stop calling me a bigot because I fuck everyone and not just every gender. Piece of shit. Everyone. <laughs> well, hey there, Santa. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, if the pan, if the bisexuals in a room of whatever, they're a very woke person. But because yeah, and then the pansexual yes. makes a bisexual yes. it, with what, like by de facto. Oh, well, you wouldn't fuck this and this and this yeah, and this. So I was like, it's you like, can't hang out. You can't yeah, be around her. No, pansexuals throw that shit onto bisexuals, and it's like, and then I go, no, 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 I fuck everyone. Who the fuck you? And they go, well, then you're pansexual. I go, well, you're telling me what I am. You Bisexual fucking piece of shit. means you will fuck either body part, vagina either or person. penis. Either person, whether it's trans or man or a woman. But pansexual is like, no, we fuck trans people. I go, oh, so they are not people there? You're like, you're like more in that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and all these fucking hippy dippy losers are fucking getting on my case. Oh, do they get on your case? They get on my case. Is it just in your... No, it's not just really? up here. Yes. Well, who? It's up here. <laughs> no, no. In, in, in like this clip I posted, but fuck it. I don't care. Fuck them. Oh, I never this read the comments. This one that went like viral. It's I got haven't like looked at the Colbert comments. Have you like, looked at the Colbert comments? Are they uh, bad? Corden. Corden? No, everyone loves you. They're good? Yeah, everyone oh. loves you. Yeah. Sometimes you're, you're they rip well women up. apart. No, well, you're not a woman to people. Um... <laughs> Because you're you funny. See, you weren't even looking, but as you were saying that, I was going, <laughs> just really hammering that home. Oh, oh, oh. So so I got a um, oh, cameo. Oh, cameo. So our favorite show was like Love on the Spectrum, and we would always like. ADHD is just what we should call the podcast. You know what I mean? It should just be Whoa. called Ritalin. It should be called Worm Brain. <laughs> yeah, Spider Brain. Ah, oh, my balls are really bothering me right now. You know what I'll tell I was thinking about? Into. If a man is being weak, you call him a pussy, right? Yeah. Uh huh. But if on. a woman is being strong, like when I would do carpentry, people would be like, "You have balls." Uh huh. But balls. Why is that? If you say you're a dick, that's a bad thing. But as I, if I say you have balls, that's a good thing. And balls are the most hideous, disgusting. Because balls aren't just physical. Balls encapsulate masculinity, manhood, going for it. Yeah. Okay. So that should be you're not being a pussy, but you're being a, a fallopian tube. Ovary. Uterus. You're being a bit of a vulva. <laughs> <laughs> Way better. A pussy should be like a slut. Sorry. No, a pussy, but pussy's a good thing. No, see, you're being no. a pussy. Yeah, yeah, but me? I'm just, see? Oh. But being a pussy is being associated a pussy being with a like dick. being effeminate and a girl and being a dick or balls or whatever is associated with a guy which is like Brr. i just think it's crazy that you yeah i would do carpentry and people go you've got balls and all, i wanted to be like that's the one thing that you can take in that i don't have you could probably make a list of things and that'd be top i don't have that you've what? got balls well it means you've got chutzpah it means you've got strength you've got fucking a go-getter attitude guts balls though yes it's because... like being like you have a little crusty spot on your no, asshole no 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 <laughs> Because you have if you have balls, you go for it. You it. take risks. You I know got what balls. it means. I'm just looking back at the origins and now it's a well, bad quit choice. Quit living in the past. Anyway, I ordered a cameo. <laughs> Dude, okay. What? What? Sorry. I love this. I love the cameo thing. Okay, so our, our favorite show is Love on the Spectrum. And we were talking the other night. And we were like quoting one of them. And I got, it was her birthday. And I got one of the cameos for her. And love on the spectrum is people with autism that they try to find love. And it's really kind of exploitative because it's like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if we watched two tards try to navigate something that normal people can't even do? Dating. What a genius idea. Like, let's put them together meeting for the first time. They already have social anxiety. Let's put them with cameras all around and then be like, all right, now try to finger. You, and it's like. Dude, it's really the most recent season. They have one guy who's like. I didn't see it. He's a ball. Just imagine a ball. He's an Indian man. Okay. That's him. That's who asked to do That's it. That's who I got. Yeah. He's like this. Yeah. 
Yeah. Dude, he's truly, I cannot he make out like with Indian him. He looks like Indian Slimer. He's like this. And yeah. he has this little face. And he sets it a, a date, and she's like, so she has kind of like Down syndrome or something, but it's light down. She's kind of like there. And she's like, what kind of shows do you like? And he's like, <laughs> and you're like, this is not okay to and then, do. And then, he did not and then, sign a waiver. And then they go, I'm nervous. <laughs> and then they get up and go, where's the bathroom? Yes, yes. yes. And they have to be like, we're going to stop recording. And they're like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, are you okay? And he's like, I want, I want to touch my Pokemon card. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You yeah. shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, I know. And the girl is like, I actually was looking to go for on it. Well, she's like, I always like to go. But she is like, she's a little fucked up, but she is there. Yeah. And they're like, here, so, we're going to put you on a date with a brick. We're just yeah. going to drop that in. Yeah. And it's fucked up to her. And what's even more fucked up is that you can pay these Tardos money and make them say whatever you want. Yes. <laughs> It's insane. Okay. So, so what a cameo it. is, is you say, hey, I want to make a thing. And they say, happy birthday, Ian. This is yeah, your, yeah, this yeah. is Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yes, yes. But and you so said it to the little Indian. I sent it to uh, Sabat. He's and like Meatball. <laughs> yeah, he's a cutie little guy. No, Meatball from. And he's like Slime. Adult Swim. If he was a, an Indian. And so I got him to, to do the cameo and he sent it back. And there was no cameo. It was just a black screen with the sounds of him trying to record the cameo and a fan moving in the background. And that's what he said. That's what he said. And that's it what he was couldn't like have been even better. So now I'm going back and forth with his sister who runs his account to try to get him to record the normal cameo. I don't think it was a fan. It's I think two it's him like. Two gifts in one. <laughs> no, you can hear the fan be like. Tick, 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 tick. Dude, can you pull it up? It's cra It's just a black screen. It's, it's crazy. It's a black screen. It's so funny to be like, you know, it'd be funny if we got like a cameo from a mentally challenged person and they send it back and it's just like, it, I mean, this is so what you asked for. That's like the $500 thing. Well, at the bottom of the phone, yeah. you know? how has he never done this? It's like a long, it's just black. Show the screen. It's amazing. It's amazing. How does anybody? How does anybody take a video of blackness? You know what I mean? Like, what was he? Was he just like this? Yeah. That's the only way. It's it's just pitch dark. What if they have him in like a room where they're just like forcing cameos out of him, like a fucking puppy mill puppy, <laughs> just like, and he's in his dark cameo room. Would you stop? I'm checking the numbers. Okay, check the numbers. Do you numbers. want to check the numbers? Check the numbers. Oh, the 10k, Ethan. Ethan Same. made a great clip. Ethan made a, my favorite clip of all yeah. time. 10K yeah. in an yeah. hour. We nailed it. Oh, we haven't seen you since Corden. Jordan. Also tempted someone, by God. Someone Box on the, the captions or the comments said something that I didn't get till someone explained. They go, you've heard of Elf on a Shelf. Now get ready for, and I was like, get ready for what? And they were like, Jordan on Corden. <laughs> oh, cute. Um, you nailed it. I, f I Yes, it was very fun. Yeah. You killed it. I should have had more energy is how I feel. But well, I have a couple notes. <laughs> what? I fucked up a little bit. Dude, I fucked. There were three things I noticed, but go ahead. There was two. One, instead of saying I put a sweet potato in the oven last night, I just said in general. And two, I said, but, but, like something like that. You did go. <laughs> like, like, like <laughs> yeah, I fucked up a word. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah. I think it got the. It was fun. Across. It's just really weird because it's like this. It's, See how we can't hear our own voice? Yeah. Imagine being on stage like that. You, They don't have sound. But could you hear the crowd? Yes, I can hear the crowd, but they're like this. Ha, ba. Right. It's so weird, and you're like, what are we Did doing? Did you feel that you could riff in the moment or no? I felt like there were there was a thing that they that they were coached on. And that I could riff, yeah, I mean, I was looking at them, but I was really barreling through, I think. Mm. I was also very conscientious because I find it very cringy when people pause for applause. Mm. So anytime that would start to happen, like I would say something and people would start to clap and I'd be like, and on to the next joke. Cause I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said to the booker, I was like. Yeah, say it. And he was like, I'm really glad you did that. It's the worst. I hate when that happens. Can I say what was so cool? Not only did you fucking. Oh, it's. Dude, I put on deodorant. <laughs> It's not bad. Really? It smells good. Yeah, you're good. Um, I, first of all, you crushed it. Thanks. You fucking, it, it was so fun. It was great. You fucking nailed it. So good. 
And what I loved was, dude, you went out on a huge fucking... Yeah. Mustache, hair in my mouth. You went out on a huge laugh. Like yeah. a huge pop. Nobody gets huge pops on the show. Everybody goes like... And I said, try the next door. Thank you. That's my time. Have a good night. And you were like... Baby, Bob, boom. Thank you. Like nice. you got a huge thing and walked off. Most people say their line, don't get anything, and then let people know they're done, and then they get the applause. Thank you. You said your line, huge applause, then stopped. I went and Fucking watched a awesome. lot of other people's, and the clip to laugh good. thing is real. Like yeah. they're like, ha, because I've been like, yeah. I think they're, I think they were like, they're very like, don't step on their jokes. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But it when was does Gordon end. Soon, very soon. Yeah. But um, thank you for saying that. What was the other thing I was going to say? The only thing left for late night is family. He was really cool. It's crazy oh, yeah. that they don't. Yeah, he was very. I was, you know how I was thinking. Yeah. And they treated me very well. They just oh, didn't give great. me a hotel, which I thought was crazy. I still yeah. haven't been paid also. But Ooh. get on that. I then did Tacoma Comedy Club, very good club, but the same pay for the five minutes. Whoa. Yeah. Wild. Shout out Pittsburgh Improv. Holy fuck. No, that don't say awesome. that. I just turned that gig down. Why? Because. Is that bad? Because they gave me Thursday, Friday, but I had already put in with... Is that stupid? Yes. Should I do it? Yes. Fuck. It's a fucking improvs. You got in with them, you're fucking gold. I'm... Yeah. We'll talk off her. Um, <laughs> now she's going to fucking call the agent. <laughs> oh, speaking of which... Yeah. Oh, we can't announce yet, but that's a, we got some cool things coming. What do we got? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, no, 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 no. Um, no, no, stop. Um, oh, should we do our plugs at the beginning of the episode again? Yes. Yep. And we'll be in the outfits. And um, we, what we, else? We can't rewind and do the plugs. No, we'll record and then put it at the beginning. You said, should we do it in? No, after we're done record. Just do your little, I made a mistake. Look at my shirt, mom. Isn't that great? I want one. It's got all three of them on it. I yeah. ordered one and it never came in the mail and I was so bummed I'm out. I'm so happy I got that. I can't, this is the best thing about being out of your 20s you can just like things that you like i hate rap i hate rap <laughs> me too with wiggity wiggity whack i hate it yeah. i hate it i and like you know some what? of it but you i don't like it spell crap and without my favorite rap. rapper he's white who mac miller oh boo what? i he's do amazing. like some rap oh i like this song that's like win 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 fuck everybody else and win by J Rock, the guy. That's my nickname. You're J Rock. And all we do is win. Oh yeah, thanks patrons. Really fucking doing great. It's really fun. We're having fun, and everybody's being real kind too about the show. We really appreciate it. Is it hard to listen to? Because my friend Harry, but he's very Jewish. And there's the your answer. He says it's very chaotic. Do you feel that way? Do you feel like it's better to watch it? Do you feel we need the feedback? Send it Mom? to Mom. She doesn't listen to me. I've watched it. Yeah, what is your feedback, please, Mom? Um We should have both our moms on the podcast. Yes. That'd be fun. Not at the same time. What? You did say that. Did you? Yeah. You yes. said I'll bring Greg Gale up with me. Oh yeah. Well, I'm trying to get her to come up for those Atel shows, and she's yeah. not willing. Anyway, other mom? Yes, at times it seems chaotic. and, and That's kind of a thing. It, it, yeah, I cannot. <laughs> high energy works. Yes. But some, but for me, I miss some of the, you're coming in your ear. I miss some you're of the jokes. Come in your ear? Who's got come in their ear? <laughs> who's coming in his ear? This little elf's got come in his ear. Now, here's the thing. The that just means. Busy over here. <laughs> 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 yes. That just means you got to rewind and watch again. Or I, or I slow it down. Yeah. Sometimes I oh, we've been we've been we better at talking over each other. And you know what? Listen, we, we appreciate it. We have. I think we need headphones. And let me say, when I say headphones, I mean invisible things. You know what I mean? Ones that we can move around in. Wireless. Wireless. Did they make those? We need to get some wireless. Look you know how much couch I have and I, I don't even use it anymore. Yeah, it's, great. <laughs> it's great. We could just crop the whole podcast. Um, no, here's the okay, thing. Okay, we will slow it down. If we had headphones, it would help. I, think you're right. I don't People think. say that. But the headphones make it unnatural. What if we had one earpiece? What are we, a fucking weatherman? Wouldn't that be cool? Dude. 
can we green screen a map and go, it's getting sunny in the south? Why? Why? Because I've always wanted to be a weatherman. Yeah, you'd be a good weatherman. Right? Cloudy with a chance of getting a call from my ex-wife. <gasps> the cigarettes? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, you didn't That's notice? That's so beautiful. And we did that. Oh, my God. 20 minutes ago. Where was I? Put, move your fucking head. I want to be in it. I want you in it too, but move your head there. Perfect. Oh my God. It's really something. Oh, it's just a beautiful piece of art. I don't know what just happened. Whoa, I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay. We're going to have my mom on the Patreon. She'll teach us things that we need to know about. We have to be open to it. You know like what's crazy? What? How to have a long conversation with Jordy in my kitchen Here's about the question. AI. Did you know what? You're going to teach us about that? What's the What's the biggest city in India? Ian. What? What's the biggest city? The big city. Oh, I thought it was called Ian. No, what is like, it called? Yeah. yeah, of course you did. What's it called? New Delhi. No, a different one. What's the biggest city in India? Papadon. Okay, you know it. New Delhi. Yeah. Yeah. Next. You were just What's trying to one? say something that it's she another knew one. What's that the I other did? one? What's the other one? Go for it. I thought that Dubai was in India. No. I know. It was embarrassing. It's Mumbai. Yeah, Mumbai. Well, Mumbai. You're not on the show yet. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Mumbai. Oh. Mumbai. Bye. <laughs> Mom, mom is by. Mom is by. Mom is by. Mom is by. Dubai and Mumbai. Right, that's the second. But I've always imagined Dubai is the big India thing. Nope. I also didn't know that it's Palestinians and Indians didn't like. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, Pakistani and India, they don't really get along. Be, but the, they get along here, but they don't get along there. Pakistani and no, they don't get along. They're going they anywhere. hate each other. They hate each even other. though they talk the same? No, they don't talk the same. <laughs> <laughs> they both don't talk like this? <laughs> they don't talk like that. They don't talk like this. Do you think in your races here what? they talk the same, but they do not? What? They say, I'm Pakistani. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. You no. do pa Pakistani accent. Somebody do it. I won't. What? Le lower myself. Oh, yeah, to that. because we got in trouble for the. Wait, we're allowed to do accents. We're fucking comedians. Those two are easily confused. Oh, thank you, mom. Thank Absolutely. you, mom. What? I wouldn't know how to do it, but I Wait, just we're not it. allowed to. Well, I was saying I would lower myself because I don't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> can you Can you not? I'm showing a, I'm showing a thing. Can We're doing the accent. Indian accent. You're looking up on YouTube. What's that? Is that bad? No. Is it? Here's an Indian guy doing it. That's a guy drinking Mountain Dew. It's what's his name? How to speak Indian accent. This is, first of all. How to speak. How to speak. Oh, I used to do it. You ever? I Chet Hanks is my hero. We Can we get Chet Hanks on the pod? Can I we would, figure this out? I Mom, started you know DMing with is? him and about his weight loss program, and he called me lazy because I was like, well, I'm on the road. I like to you eat whatever Chet I want. Hanks? You yeah, and he was Chet like, you're Hanks? lazy. Should I say, hey, can you come promo your program on the pod and we will both do your thing? But it is kind of pricey and he wants What's pricey? you to pay money for Indian accents. Uh, and not just Indian, there's a Sri Lankan, Pakistani, and uh, what are we you know, doing? all over South Asia, there's a different yeah, accent. Funny, but yeah. I wanted to introduce to you the South Indian accent. No, I don't you want know, you to introduce shit. Thank you, thank you. I okay. want him to stop talking. Chet Hanks' mom is Tom Hanks' kid, who's not the one that's an actor. And he, and he talks in a Jamaican accent. He says, my dad's about to He's win an award. He's who he is, and he does what he wants. He's and amazing. He, he's hot. He went on that bitches show. Z-Way. Yeah, Z-Way. And Z-Way was yeah. like, why do you think you can do this? And he was like, I do it. It's fun. I like yeah, doing it. I like best. Jamaican people, and I like their accent, so I do it. He rules. Oh, let me tell you, it was hard not to do Mexican accents in combo. Oh, Louie made me cut my closer. because I was, did it. You did do it? You're a good boy. That's why. Uh, what, He made you cut your what? He made me cut my closer because I do an ex Mexican accent, and he does too. Oh, wow, wow, wow. But. It kind of was nice because it me meant that instead of ending on my favorite joke, I ended on, and my the new jokes killed the most. The black guy one where I say, my friend told me I dated a black guy. I'm the one that said. Ann yeah. Mullen. My friend told me I dated a black guy and I and I was like, did you just call me fat? Kills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kills. Even in the wokest rooms. Yeah. Yeah. They know. They know. They know. 
I asked a black guy the other night. I was like, is that okay to say? And he was like, yeah. And I turned to his girlfriend, big fat fatty. <laughs> White? Out <laughs> no, black. But that wasn't my argument. I didn't say, did you just call me black? I said, did you call me fat? Which is a yeah. penny. What's up with these records? Well, they were where the Christmas gifts were. Really? We have to display them. They're beautiful. We can't have know, them stacked right? up like that. Well, we'll display them after Christmas. We'll put them The back. smoke! I know. I, hey, I don't like it either. All right. <laughs> So you sent the cameo to the ex. Do you think she's going to do you think she's going to take you back? Please speak into the mic. <laughs> We're not discussing this at this time. <laughs> we can have a conversation about it all day. No, I don't care about taking back around. I'm just happy we're in each other's lives again. I loved her for a reason and we really had fun together. Yeah, having your ex in your life rules. Ah, no, the face. <laughs> he no. hates this face. Yeah, it's a bad face. Now, I know you're doing it now and I'm not going to look at you. <laughs> So, cool it, all right? I know you still have it, because you want me to turn and get upset. And I know that's, like, your thing, and I'm not going to give it to you. And you're still doing it. I know you are. Now, and now you're leaning towards me to make me see it. I don't... No! No! We got we to gotta set up a thing where I sneak in. No, we don't house. have to set up a thing. We got to set up a thing where I sneak in, and we film it. Oh, man. Mom, we have to show the video of me scrambling around the hotel room. One time we oh, had to split so a hotel fun. room and Ian like turned the flash on his phone to be like, what are you doing? And I was like, <laughs> and like free, scared him so much. And we were watching the, and at one point I like come out and I'm like, <laughs> and we watched the video so many times that we were crying, laughing. It really reminded me of that scene in Hereditary when the thing is crawling on the ceiling. But it scared me so like, much yeah, yeah, that yeah. I couldn't sleep looking at my it. own face. Yeah. It's really, truly, no, it's yeah. horrifying. Yeah, no, you're my very face is green. disturbing. It's really yeah. fucked up. Yeah. Actually, you did look really cute when you were like, <laughs> but then there it turned to where it was like, I can't function. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. What is this? Wow. Oh, oh my God. Wow, what are you poking me for? Oh, I didn't show you my new Tasmanian devil. Oh, stop, 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 man, stop. All right, all right. Let's take a break. God, that is so Here's terrible. a question for the audience. Was it me or did Barney get punched by a kangaroo? Did Barney get punched by a kangaroo? Does anybody have that? Is that like Berenstein Bears? Barney, Barney, the dinosaur? Yes. Why would an episode of Barney happen where he gets punched by Listeners, a kangaroo? can somebody validate this? When I was a kid, Barney got, he had a kangaroo on the show and it beat the shit out of Barney. It ripped his little head off. It ripped Barney's head off. That was not on the show. You were experiencing some sort of trauma that you're placing on the Barney show. That there was no possible way Barney about, got his head yes. kicked off by a kangaroo on anything? the show. That didn't happen. Dude, you're fucked up. I found it's Marty the monster got a, attacked by the kangaroo, rags the kangaroo. Do you see it? Not Barney. Not Barney. I. It was. I Do was, you remember the cartoon Fantastic Max? Yes, the mouse. No, that's no, Mighty Mouse. It was a boy who was fantastic, and he would go to the moon a lot. You're so gay. <laughs> what? Fantastic Max. <laughs> he was a fantastic little fella. Um. Do you remember Dinosaurs? Remember that show that was just a fucking sitcom? Not the mama. Not the mama. Not the mama. Do you I'm the baby. That? Gotta love me. That was so scary, Mom. Scary. Do you remember that? It was real. Scary. They it was like great. big, it was human beings in these very realistic dinosaur outfits. Very scary. But it was like a sitcom with like a cigarette smoking a, dad. I think but we were allowed a to watch theory it. that that show was like based off of something. Like Roseanne. Like, That's what it felt like. It, it felt like Roseanne, but with dinosaurs. I wasn't allowed to watch Roseanne as a kid. I shouldn't have been able to watch were that. You, that was were you Roseanne. not allowed to watch any shows? <gasps> meet the feebles is insane the i was like this, this, is a, this is a puppet show and then it's with puppets and then there's like a cat blowing a walrus at one point it's a really horrifying movie but it starts out as puppets so my moms were like you can watch this who cares no I didn't. You, the, you, we were in the house watching it and it was like oh pup, who cares also i was allowed to watch whatever the fuck i wanted i watched stigmata that fucked me up I wasn't allowed to watch anything. I wasn't allowed to watch The Simpsons. I wasn't allowed to watch MTV or VH1. 
I wasn't allowed to watch Roseanne. Because you had cable. We had little bunny ears that I would have to hold like up in the corner of the room in order to get one, in order to get, remember that mom Fox? So you had to be like the guy at the end of Blair Witch just to watch fucking yeah. Family Guy. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Hiding across the street behind a tree. What's Seinfeld doing? What's Seinfeld doing? Yeah, and but at my dad's house, I had endless cable of TV in my room, and I would just eat and watch TV, oh, and I grew wow. to be ten sizes well, too big. After my dad died, my mom was like, "Okay, watch whatever you want," and then that's when we got like cable, and I could like watch whatever. But when I was little, I was only allowed to watch ESPN in the morning and ABC. Um, what was the Friday show? TGIF. Yep, yep. And I used to impersonate Urkel. And for my talent show in second grade, me and my best friend, Steve Hassink, I was Urkel, he was Carl. We wrote a sketch and I would go, <laughs> can I do that? Oh my God, you loved it. Yeah. Oh, I had suspenders. So the sketch was, I made a super glue thing. You got a Tasmanian devil? Tattoo, yeah. Wait, where is on it? My, on my arm. Nobody cares about the super glue. But can I see the Tasmanian devil? Sometimes I feel only not crazy on stage, and then I step off and I can't function. So I know what you mean about the Steve Urkel thing. I think at a young age, I was like, this feels right, you know? What? To just be a lunatic on How stage. did you draw that connection? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I might get my next tattoo might be a butterfly on my chest. Like, That's your stomach? My belly button. This is my stomach. <laughs> yeah. You just want a butterfly on my chest. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> It's okay. Earlier, I said Palestine, and everybody said Pakistan. And I was like, "Yeah, Pakistan." Some listener caught that. We gotta get a tattoo on Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Did Incendiary but, say anything about December? You, oh, you can go <gasps> to the show. Yeah. Yep. I got Jordan into the Incendiary Incendiary show, Amityville Music Hall. Can Friday. I go alone? Yes. But not with anybody. Well, I only got you in, so sorry. I can't show the tattoo. It's my favorite hardcore band. They're great. They're going to come on the podcast. I get an email. But December twenty third is a holy day. Twenty three is my holy day. I'm in Philly for a gig. Oh, dude! Cancel by the way, it. my favorite fucking band, Blacklisted, was supposed to get together for a benefit show Sunday, February fourth. And fucking, I'm friends with the guitarist, and he told me he goes, "Don't tell anyone." I go, "Okay, great." I had a weekend in Arlington, Virginia. Hit my agents up, said, "I got to cancel this weekend. Let's push it back just so I could go to see this band that I fucking love my whole life. I never got to see him live." Boom, got it. Change. Our agents are just our parents now. <laughs> I really want to go. I'm never going to see him. You never let me do anything. And also, and also, they only us one time. So then uh, I found out that the lead singer canceled the fucking band getting back together. And so it's not happening. So. <gasps> because they, they all fight. I know. So February 4th, Sunday, do you want to go to the show in Philly? Yeah. We can Wait, go what? You said it was not. Yeah, but it's you still a lot of really good bands. Head. We keep talking about this. All right, well, do you want to go? Is it I up can, here? I can, ow. It's, oh, so there's still a scab on it. Here. Oh, it's not Taz, is it? Yeah. Oh, it is Taz. Nice. Yeah. I love Taz. I had a skateboard with Taz on it. Ow. So, ow. so wait, do you want to go? Well, it's the band that's not together, is getting together, and we're going to go? No, I don't think they're getting together. <laughs> Why did I do it this way? <laughs> Yeah, you were like Jim Carrey coming out of the rhino butthole. Isn't that cool? Dude, sick. I can't believe you got this without consulting on their bicep. Where'd you get it? Uh, Ian Weidrick at Street Dreams Tattoo. He's the one that you go to that's not Akira. That's yes. the other one. Yeah, dude. He's the one that did, Ian did my Jaguar. He did these How do you poses. decide which one to go to? I just, I do research. I love my guy, but his lines are too thin. I'm telling you, you need See? a new guy. Yo, dude, I'm telling you, I'm thinking about only getting... Dogs. I'm getting one here and one here, and that's it for my arms. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I'm thinking, yeah, like a, a rose with a dagger. Through. I should show you Harry's arms. He it does that. There's John, good. and then a cross with a stone that says Dan. So my grandfather's name was Dan. Dad's name was John. You don't don't put script on your arms. Don't fucking tell me. And don't tell me what that do. Oh, we the matching tattoo. We should. Oh yeah, we're getting the jaguar head, but we should also get the misfit skull. Yeah, let's not do the jag. Let's do something that actually is. You know what I mean? Not just like, we both like this, so let's get it. I mean, we can do that. Okay. But let's get one that, like, when you put it together, it's a heart. Whoa, you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 What Hold about, on, let me put my Like, let's on. get knuckle tats. 
Should we just get our arms fucking blasted all the way yeah. down? Fuck it, dude. I've been tap dancing for these industry dickheads for so long, going, I can't get tattoos. Kiss my ass! Kiss my ass! <laughs> right on the balloon knot! Kiss my ass! Yeah, kiss I it! Am. Yeah! Oh, wedgie. We haven't been tap dancing for anyone. We can't afford $400 tattoos every day. So, yeah. yeah. Also, to be fair, you do see people on stage, and it is distracting. Is this distracting? Is that your dominant? Yeah. This is the one I regret. That's the one I told you not I'm to get. I was going to say, you know what, Mark Cross, you fucked me, all right? You Mark did a great Cross. butterfly. You, you fucked, fucked me. me. Mark Cross. <laughs> I have to keep this up so you kind of have to carry it. <laughs> you gave you? me these lines. <laughs> Too thick. Mark now Cross. Now I <laughs> look like a dick. <laughs> It's on my arm. Everyone sees it. Everyone goes, can you believe it? That tattoo sucks. You look like a fuck. I thought it was cool. Now I can't get into school because I have to let you know I'm a pedophile. I'm just kidding. I don't know why my mind went there. I went for the joke and I should have just kept going. Okay. And yeah. Okay. I'm not a pedophile. They didn't mean to hurt you. No, but this tattoo sucks. I told you not to get it, and I told you not to get it there. I know. You know what my favorite tattoo is? This, because when I cross my legs like this, excuse me, mm -hmm. it shows. Oh, yeah, maybe, I can see it shows. Maybe being, you know what I mean? Like, I like how this one peeks out. Well, I like how this one peeks out a little, you know, like, oh, what's he got to say? <laughs> okay, we're going to get tattoos. What should we get? Should I get more on here? I'm telling you, I'm just going to get yes. one here and one here. Boom, that's but it. this Your one. Arms. Old pop pop style. That's it. But the one can be long, but the other one can't also be long. Because then it will look like you're wearing like a skeleton no, this suit. This is going to be long and this one's going to be Yeah, like a like stub right and then a long. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But from my neck down, I'm going to be, by the end of my life, I'm going to be completely covered. Of course. I'm going to get like a huge fucking tiger. Mama's got a big old tiger. Ripping a woman's show him, head off on my back show with a wizard. Show your tiger tattoo. You got a tiger tattoo? Is it hard to show? Yeah, she's a badass Whoa. bitch. Oh, look at that. Wow, you're so much more of a man than our production team. <laughs> Want to see my Mickey Mouse? Yeah, show the Mickey Mouse. I love the Mickey Mouse. I'm so glad I'm so glad I convinced him to get it on the fucking knee, though. Yeah. You were like, get it right on your forehead. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we all have tattoos. It's so sick. It looks great. Yeah. He's got a fucking big old one. He did yep. the... Jordy's got skulls. But Jordy looks like he was supposed to have this on forever. Yeah, Jordy looks skulls? like he was born with it. It's bone masks. Yeah, bone masks. Yep. Okay, what are we going to get? It ha it comes together. I think and... we should get the Misfits skull. With like a rose up top and then a rose down here. And says, I ain't no goddamn son of a bitch. I ain't no goddamn, goddamn son, son of a bitch. bitch. You better Let's think about, about it, baby. I ain't no we goddamn such... son of a bitch. You know, I used to listen to Last Caress in my mom's Dude. car on the way to school. Don't and the song is me. like, I got something to say. I, I raped, raped your baby, baby today. And it doesn't matter much to me as long as she spreads. Sweet lonely death, I am waiting for your breath. Once and that's one last car. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, blow the shavar. Yes, we love you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And a Shana Tova. Happy holidays to all. I love my shirt. I'm glad you love it. Yeah.